Hello, everybody. Allow me to give you one word. Hospitals. What images come to mind? Okay, let's see your inside. Is it waiting rooms that are packed to capacity? Sterile hallways with that signature smell of disinfectant? Or patient's foods that are perhaps not the tastiest? I tell you what, erase those images and please step outside with me. And outside, imagine instead this lush garden that's used by patients, staff, and hospital visitors to relax and socialize. Now imagine a recovering patient in their ward looking outside, and instead of seeing a busy street or rows and rows of cars in the parking lot, they have an unrestricted view of this splendidly green and gorgeous garden. It makes you feel good, doesn't it? Well, research has shown that patients with an access or just a view of natural environments like gardens had better recovery rates shorter hospital stays, and reduced stress. Also, gardens can be used for therapy to improve physical and cognitive abilities. Well, this is really my project in a nutshell. As part of my master's in health, science, technology, and policy, my colleagues and I are looking at the opportunities and challenges that there are at creating gardens at hospitals for therapeutic purposes, that is, for health improvement, to then help the Ottawa Hospital develop a garden design of its own. To do this, we interviewed three groups of people. First, we spoke to hospital staff to get a sense of staff expectations, but also patients' needs of this garden. We also interviewed hospitals with existing gardens just to get a sense of the day-to-day -day operations and challenges faced when managing gardens. And importantly, because Ottawa Hospital plans to expand this therapeutic garden into one for food production in the future, we finally spoke to potential long-term partners who could contribute expertise and help with the sales of garden produce. Now we are currently analyzing our results, but we're hoping for some very promising findings. But here's the thing, the benefits of gardens at hospitals are boundless. Here, did you know that more than 15% of Canada's healthcare budget goes towards drugs? That's right, but with therapeutic gardens now, patients, healthcare providers, and hospitals now have a non-drug alternative to treatment we should also free up some money in that healthcare budget. Now, when it's for food production, hospitals can greatly improve patients' meals by using fresh and nutritious produce and having to rely less on processed foods from industrial suppliers. So there you have it. Health, foods, or should I say herbs, and hospitals. Together, they make up the H factor, and that's my project. Thank you all very much.